All right, thank you, uh, Sneha. This case has uh, got the entire country hooked. Uh, horrific details, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as they are coming one by one every single day for the past nine days, have only, in fact, uh, put everybody in shock and horror. Joining me now at this moment, Mr. Abhinash Kumar. He is the uh, legal aide, uh, Aftab's legal counsel, his legal aide. He has uh, recently, in fact, uh, also spoken to Aftab. Today he was in the court. Today an important day. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kumar, thank you so much, Abhinash Ji, for speaking to us here on NDTV. I want to start by asking you, sir, uh, you were in the court today. Uh, the police has been given his uh, custody for four more days, but very important, some very important things today were said by Aftab in the court. Can you please tell us what all did he say? No, Aftab has nothing said in the court. The police has moved the application for four days remand. And I have opposed for the four days remand and I have asked for only two days police remand. But court... But court has uh, said that only four days left for police remand. So, on level court has allowed for four days remand. Uh, uh, Abhinashji, uh, what we can hear, in fact, this is what you have also told, uh, uh, you know, speaking to a few people, that Aftab said that he cannot recall a lot of things. As and when he is able to recall the incident, he is telling the police and he is cooperating. No, of course, Aftab is cooperating to Delhi police and uh, Aftab, uh, what is he is recalling, he is uh, saying to the Delhi police and uh, concerned I.O. Jo hai. And uh, on the basis of that information, the I.O. is uh, moving forward jo hai for the investigation. Jo hai. Did he say in the court today that uh, he did this, he committed the murder in the heat of the moment? Did he confess in the court? No, it is on. It is uh, Aftab has not uh, confessed before the court, and it is only the rumor. And uh, all the channels are uh, running this uh, rumor information, and Aftab has not confessed anything before the court. Has he not, in fact, said that he killed uh, Shraddha? He has not confessed uh, in a written statement that he has given to the police, because you also must have access to the uh, statement no, that has been given. Uh, no, till now, to till now, uh, till now, he has. So, till now, he has not confessed for the murder. So, are you saying that Aftab is denying that he committed this murder? No, Aftab is not completely denying, but he is cooperating uh, the Delhi police uh, for the investigation. And Delhi, on, on that information, the Delhi police is uh, investigating his case. Jo hai. He is not completely denying, but he is cooperating with the Delhi police. Sir. Okay, sir, please try and uh, help our viewers understand. If Aftab is not confessing to the murder, neither is he denying. What does that mean? No, he is not completely confessing. You are confessing with the other thing and cooperating with the other thing. Jo hai. Okay, he is cooperating with the Delhi police for the, collecting the information. Jo hai. But he has not confessed that I have murdered the Sardha. Jo hai. He has not confessed that he has murdered Shraddha uh, Walker. Is that what you are saying? Yes, he has not confessed that he has murdered Shraddha. Have you been able to speak to Aftab? Yeah, I have uh, met Aftab about uh, five, five to ten minutes uh, today in the morning. Uh, and he has also told that uh, I am satisfied with the uh, uh, legal uh, aid and uh, legal assistance given to me. And he's, he does not require more uh, legal assistance by other persons. So you have been you've been appointed uh, by the court. Agar main samaj sakun thang se, to aapko court ne appoint kiya hai Aftab ke liye lawyer. Because humne kuch din pehle dekha tha ki saaf, uh, Aftab jo hai, jab wo saaket court mein gaya tha, to wahan par lawyers ne bada hangama bhi kiya tha. To kya aapko court ne appoint kiya hai Aftab ka lawyer? Ha, yeah, of course the court has appointed me for defending the Aftab jo hai. Okay, now can I understand from you? You had a 10 minute conversation with Aftab. What did he tell you? Mm -hmm. He has uh, told me that I am satisfied with the process and I am cooperating with the Delhi police. And I have asked uh, uh, from the Aftab that why you have given the consent for the narco test. Then he has given that I, what I, uh, information I have, I want to tell the Delhi police. And so I have voluntarily given the consent for the narco test. Okay, so this is very important information that you are you are sharing any... with us and our viewers here. Aftab has told you that he gave consent for narco examination because he wants to tell 
uh, mm. everything to the Delhi police. He wants to cooperate in the investigation. Yeah, he wants to cooperate the Delhi police. And, uh, till date, he is fully cooperating the Delhi police. Way. Okay, uh, you've seen what details have been coming out as far as this case is concerned. What is going to be your defense strategy? Because the Delhi police says that he killed Shraddha, uh, strangulated her, then chopped her body parts. Now, Delhi police today has also, in fact, found some blood uh, evidence uh, from the bathroom where supposedly this entire, uh, her body was in fact chopped off by Aftab. DNA evidence is being collected. Aftab was taken to the places where he allegedly has uh, scattered Shraddha's remains as well. Some bones have been found. This seems to be a very, very important, all these are very important evidences against Aftab. No, but in fact, I cannot say much about the, this matter because it is a part of the investigation and investigation agency is collecting his evidence. When I will get the charge sheet and when I will go through the charge sheet, then I will be in, the proof head will come and next strategy will be on the charge sheet. What did Aftab say about Shraddha to you? Did you ask him about what happened to Shraddha? No, uh, one, only a five-minute uh, minute legal meeting. I have not asked about the Shraddha. Then I, next time I will ask further information about the Shraddha and what ha happened. Then I will say something about that thing. Uh, when are you meeting him next? Most probably the court has allowed me to meet the legal meeting today in the evening. If you, I will go... The, to meet today and I will meet to Aftab, then I will ask about further information regarding these things. Sir, uh, has Aftab's family also been in touch with you? Have they contacted you? No, till time Joy Aftab's family has not contacted me, but I am trying to contact him and when I will get the number, I will uh, try to contact him and then uh, some information will come about this case. Joy. Okay, uh, when you have assigned this case, Delhi police must have given you, you have seen the FIR, uh, the charges against Aftab. On basis of what you have seen so far, what is going to be your next step? No, I am waiting the copy of the charge when the uh, IO will uh, file the charge in the concerned court then I, and the copy, when I will get the copy, then next uh, strategy will be on the basis of the charge sheet. What loopholes do you see that uh, you, as a defense lawyer, is going to exploit as far as this case is concerned? No. Everything is based on the circumstantial evidence. Police is uh, collecting the evidence on the basis of the circumstantial evidence. There, there is no substantial evidence is uh, collected by the uh, police. So this will be the benefit for me. You're saying that this entire case is of circumstantial evidence, but what about uh, the... Uh, DNA testing that the police uh, is now conducting on the blood which has been found in the bathroom and also on the bone fragments which have been found in the forest. The report of the DNA, uh, DNA has not come out. Uh, when the, it will come out, then I, when I will see, then I will say something about that thing. Joy. Sir, before I let you go, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, especially from the political class, are speaking about this case as being a love jihad case. Uh, we were hearing the lawyers, in fact, protesting in Saket court as well. Uh, is that also an angle that you are worried about as far as this case is concerned regarding your client? Uh, really, some uh, advocates and some persons are uh, slogging uh, against the Aftab uh, and they are demanding the, uh, for hanging the Aftab for, uh, and uh, for murder penalty. But uh, that is the other matter. Jo, every person has the right to uh, uh, right of defense or uh, I am defending the Aftab. Jo, it is his constitutional right or I am providing the constitutional right to him. Jo. Are you uh, in any way worried that uh, you know you will face repercussions because you are defending an accused who at this so far in the last nine days on prime time channels across the country uh, has in fact the kind of gory details of this case which have come out which have completely have the entire country sh you know absolutely uh, sh you know completely shook the entire country in horror. So are you worried that you will face repercussions because you are uh, defending Aftab? No, till date I have not uh, worried about this case. Jo hai. It is my duty. I am, I am performing my duty. Jo hai. Sir, when you met Aftab, you said you just met him for about 10 minutes uh, as of now. He is uh, happy with you as him as his lawyer. Uh, could you tell us how he was uh, behaving when he met you? Is he 
uh, you know, was there anxiety? Is he, you know, speaking to you normally? Uh, is he worried? How, what, what was his expressions like? And the Honorable Court has asked uh, from the Aftab that you want to meet the, your legal counsel, then he has given the consent that I want to meet the, my counsel uh, uh, for five minutes and, and uh, the court has allowed for the meeting and in that uh, process I have uh, seen his body language was uh, very comfort uh, he was feeling very comfortable and uh, he was uh, very in uh, looking that he is very normal person and uh, he, his mind and physical condition were very stable and uh, talking about very politely to me. So his, uh, he seemed uh, normal to you, his condition was absolutely fine. Uh, is he worried? Did he express any worries as far as this case is concerned to you? No, he is not worried about any... any. He is very, feeling very comfortable jo hai, and guestable. Jo hai. And he knows the consequences of the case or he is believing on the uh, legal process. He has told me that I am believing the legal process and I am satisfied that uh, the legal consent is provided by the consent court. Jo hai, and I am also have the faith on the legal consent. Jo hai. He has told to me. Jo hai. Okay. Before the court, he has told this thing. Jo hai. Right. In the end, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Kumar, uh, did Aftab say anything about Shraddha? No, right now he has not uh, told any words about the Shraddha Joy. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us here on NDTV.